So as you can see from the previous state college office of the information technology, I have received my resume. So here is my resume. M address student dot previous state dot edu. This is my password and this is the resume. So please watch the video end. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we are going to learn how to create education mail. So the first step is you have to go to the previous state college and you have to click on apply now. So in the online application form, you have to click on sign up. So this was the first step. Now you have to scroll down and you have to type a first name. So I will type my name. So on you have to give you the email address. So I will give him my email address. So you can skip this email address. So click now after the email address, you have to click on I am not a robot. Now you can submit. So this was the first step. Now previous school will give me a, a link. So thank you for listening. You have given a link. So I will. So there is a link. So now we click on create password. So the first step has been completed. So I will give him the new password. So click on save password. Now first step has been done. So now you have to click on start new applications. Now you have to click on uh, pre-state college general admissions. Click on start applications. So now you will ask me for which attempt. So have you previously attended pre-state college? I will click no. Then go no. I am current. I am. I have never attended college. And in the last one, you have to click on term. You have to click on spring 2024. Click on start new applications. So the third step has been completed. Now we we'll show the fourth step. Now you need to click on your type your suffix. You need to click on junior and former last name. So like you can type on. Now you have to give your birth date. You can give any birth date or your or original birth date. So I'm not giving my original birth date. Now he's asking for my social security number, so you have to go to a website which is named at Taxi. So this is a website www.taxi.com. You have to go to this website and you have to give here all the social security numbers in here. You can copy and paste from here. So I will copy this social security number and paste the number in here. Now he's asking for uh, are you in USA? So you have to type yes in the United States on a visa. Now asking for my home country, so I will type. You can even now asking for which type of visa, so I will uh, type on non-immigrant student visa. Now asking for my preferred first name, so as you can know, my name is Muhammad Salman. Now click on save and continue. So my application has been saved. So this was the fourth step. Now I will show the fifth step. And my state is California. Sorry, my state is California. So I will choose California. Now I also have my zip code. So I will go with the code from here. So here is my zip code nine one six zero one. Now we need to scroll down and to ask for the residency questions. So I will or will have left at the first at the study is for seven continue. So this was the ninth step. Now it's go on on campus. As my program, so you can choose accounting and save and continue. So these were ten steps. We are very close to our email. So my enrollment objective is I want to only complete one or several courses. So I will choose. I will. I want to complete an extra degree. Enrollment goal. I want to see what my transfer objective is. I'm planning to transfer four. So now I will click on save and continue. So this was the eleventh step. Now scroll down. And what is enrollment best for your high school? I am a high school graduate. See, these are common questions you can answer if you want. Father's high school, high school graduates. So click on save and continue. So this was the twelfth step. Now you are asking graduating high school type home school. Now you have to click on save and continue. So now you have to save and review applications. So the application is being saved and reviewing. So as you can see, my my application is ninety nine percent completed. And now I will click on submit your application. So saving application now after like two to three hours or one day, 
I will receive my email. So click on verify and submit. He asked for my electronic signature. Click on verify and submit. Now it's saying thank you for submitting your application. Now I will click on run home. So these are all the steps to create an edge email. So after like two to three days, my edge email will be completed. So as you can see, 100% complete. So as you can see, my application is under review and 100% completed. And congratulations, your application is under review. So after like two to three days, my edge email will receive. And I will also make a video. So if you like my video, please, please subscribe and share it with your friends. So thanks for watching. See you next video. Bye.